Okay, welcome to Electron Line. And on this next set of exercises, started with this one, we also have to include the phase angle when we graph a trigonometric function like this. So we're starting out with something simple, y equals the cosine of x, but there's a phase angle right there. So first of all, let's find what the amplitude and the period is. The amplitude, since there's a, just a 1 in front of the cosine, is 1. So amplitude equals 1. And the period, since there's no number in front of the x, the period then has to be 2 pi. Remember, the period is 2 pi divided by b. b is that period factor up here that this determines how many periods there are in a 2 pi range on the x-axis. Since there's just a 1 there, the period is equal to 2 pi. And then finally, what is the phase angle? The phase angle is the amount that the function is shifted either to the left or to the right. The phase angle is right here. It's pi over 2. So phase angle equals pi over 2. Now, in the case of the negative, that means it's shifted to the right. In the case of that's a positive, it's shifted to the left. So the whole function will be shifted to the right. The best thing to do is to draw the cosine function and then draw it again, but with the whole function shifted over to the right by pi over 2. So if you draw a cosine function, it looks like this, like so. And then the phase angle is pi over 2. Remember, a complete period like this is equal to 2 pi. That means this here is equal to pi. That means this is equal to pi over 2, which means the whole function is shifted to the right by pi over 2, which means we're going to graph the function as follows. So the whole thing is shifted over pi over 2. So it starts out at an amplitude of 1 over here, shifted to the right pi over 2, and then we draw a sim single phase or single period like that. So you go from pi over 2, add 2 pi to that. So this is 2 pi plus pi over 2, which means it is equal to 5 pi over 2. That's 2 and a half pi. And so that's what the function looks like. And of course, if you were to continue it, continue it, it would look like that. And of course, it goes on this way like this. And that's what the function looks like. And y equals cosine of x minus pi over 2.